So, I got a couple of jars of kefir fermenting over here. Put them right there. I try to keep it upstairs so it has its own dark space, kind of away from other things. Colander or strainer. Um, a wide enough space for the kefir to go in and have a clean container here. Three jars. This one is gonna be where all the kefir from there is gonna be put in here and closed with the lid. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make another two batches here, about a little bit more than two cups of milk each with the kefir grains that are left. And then um, a spoon is gonna help me to take the kefir grains out from here. It's a dry spoon and clean, of course. And uh, let's start. Here are the kefir grains up close. This is um, gonna go in the fridge now and it should be nice and chilled in the morning. I can also sometimes mix it up with like berries or other fruit like banana and make it taste like a yummy basically flavored yogurt, but this is kefir. All right, so next up, I'm gonna grab some milk. Um, you can use any kind of milk. I prefer grass-fed, pasture-raised, or raw milk if I had more access, which maybe someday I might do it. Um, of course, pasture-raised, grass-fed, um, raw milk would be best. But the, ba the kefir grains are basically gonna ferment the milk in here. So it's really good for you. It has a lot of really good cultures. And enzymes, I think like yogurt has like six or seven, like good yogurt has six or seven, up to six or seven different kinds of strains of that really good bacteria for your gut health. And homemade kefir like this has like 50 or more. So it's just really good for you. And I fill it up. They say about a tablespoon or so of grains it should be around a cup and a half. Or if your grains have been used to fermenting and culturing the dairy up to two cups so i'll probably do a little more in two cups and this is also a little bit more than a tablespoon per each jar so i'll fill it right past two cups done I'll put the covers back on i just use coffee filters you can use cheesecloth some people just use a lid This is just easier for me, and I try to reuse them as much as I can and change it out every now and then. All right, and then they go back up here. And since my house is a little cooler, like 70 ish, maybe a degree or two during the day when I'm not here. So and I'll let them ferment for about 24 hours. But of course in the summer, if, especially if you have a warmer place, you know, 18 hours or even less would be enough. And that's where I keep it. And um, it's super good for you. And it tastes good. It's kind of tastes like a, if you've had plain yogurt like that, but just a little more tart. Of course, don't drink it warm unless you like warm flavored plain yogurt. That's a little tart, but you can if you want. But you can also make smoothies. I think you can make like cheeses and sour creams and butters and all kinds of fancy stuff. So yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed that. So yeah, take care y'all, thanks.